Spring is full of vibrant colors, but sometimes your photos don't quite capture that fresh, lively look. They might feel a little dull, washed out, or simply lacking that punchy color contrast that makes them pop. If you've ever captured a springtime photograph that feels muted, you know how frustrating it can be. Luckily, On One Photo Raw makes it super easy to enhance spring colors in just a few clicks. There's a few different ways I like to boost the spring color within my images using On One Photo Raw. The first way is to use the Color Enhancer filter. Inside of the Effects tab, I'll add a filter and we'll add Color Enhancer. Within the Color Enhancer filter, it's incredibly easy to warm up your image, to add in some saturation or vibrance, and also to boost specific color ranges. I like to go into the style section here, and depending on what I'm wanting to boost within my scene, whether it be a sky or flowers, I can use these preset styles here. Let's just use sky to enhance that sky section of our image. And I'll also get onto my color range and I'm gonna grab my yellows here. Let's pull up on the saturation a little bit and I'll add in a little bit of brightness there. So with this one filter, if we turn this off and on, it's doing a whole lot to boost those colors within our spring photograph. Another way to enhance those spring colors within your images is to use the edit color filter. I like to use the edit color filter when I'm looking to modify more specific color ranges within my spring captures. So in the effects tab, I'll add a filter. Let's add edit color. And within the edit color filter, I typically grab this color dropper and I'll use it to target the specific color that I want to modify. Let's target the leaves and stems of the flowers. So I'll just grab a color and then we can use the saturation and lightness slider to enhance the color and also give them a bit more light. So I'll pull up on the saturation slider and then I'll brighten them up. You can see it's doing a really great job, just giving a lot more life into that section of the image. Now we can also use it for the other colors within our image as well. So let's use it for the actual flowers themselves. So it's doing a great job of just bringing up the colors within the actual flowers of our photo. And from there, let's target the sky. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna modify the hue a little bit to darken up that blue. Let's increase the saturation. And I'm also going to decrease the brightness here to make the sky a little bit more detailed and have some more contrast. So within these three filters, you can see it's doing a whole lot to boost the colors within our springtime photo. You can also use those filters in conjunction with one another to target specific colors within your photograph or just increase the saturation of specific areas of your image. So let's first just target the stems of our flowers. So we'll use edit color. I'm going to use that color dropper, drop it on an area where we want to specifically enhance that color. Let's increase the saturation and then we'll brighten that area up. You can see it's doing a great job of boosting the color and the light of that specific color range within our photo. From there, let's add a filter. Let's add the color enhancer filter. We can go in here and we'll boost the saturation a little bit to give the scene a bit more color overall and then Let's grab our color range, we'll use red, and let's just enhance some of that red color within our photograph to really boost up this foreground section within our scene. So with just these two filters, let's take a look at the original and after. So using the color enhancer filter and the edit color filter, you can easily boost those springtime colors within your photos. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.